When it comes to Pokemon, a lot of people think about the games, the animated series, the movies, and even Pokemon Go. But a lot of the times, not many people really think about the actual mangas. And there have been a few different versions out there. And the most common ones are the Pokemon Adventure and mangas that are out. So it's still continuing to this day. And it's going by region by region. And I have no idea how many are out there. Even with reboots like Alpha Sapphire, uh, they bring out a, another Pokemon Adventures. So I thought, why not do a review on the first volume from the beginning uh, of Pokemon Adventures. The manga is, you know, very straightforward with the story. It's about a young boy named Red who travels with his Pokemon, as you can see on the cover. He has a Poliwhirl, a Bulbasaur, and a Pikachu. And he just basically travels around Kanto, battling gym leaders, other trainers, and eventually when he encounters them, he goes against Team Rocket. It seems very straightforward. And what's kind of interesting about the manga is it doesn't really follow the mo or the games as such. Uh, the games themselves are really just a guide. You know, it's very basic. You know, when you probably played, uh, you know, blue or red or leaf green and fire red, you went from town to town, battling the gym leader of that town, got the badge TM or HM, and then you use it on a Pokemon. You battle trainers, whatever. Then with the anime, you know, it did seem quite kid friendly in a way uh, this takes a slightly darker turn not a huge amount but uh, adds a lot more depth to characters you even have gym leaders attacking uh, trainers for no real reason some of them actually work for team rocket so it's not just Giovanni you have a, a lieutenant surge kidnapping Pokemon uh, selling them uh, across like the seas on a ship um, and then you have Koga in this and he's like attacking Pokemon with like zombie Pokemon in the Pokemon Tower which is absolutely nuts now not all the gym leaders are evil and um, the other two that you see in this are Brock and Misty Brock he kind of has an interesting idea in uh, this where basically he doesn't seem as if he wants to battle all the trainers there. He has a tournament and all the trainers battle each other and whoever wins the tournament goes against Brock, which is kind of like the ideas of the games where when you went into a gym and there would be trainers already there and you battled them before you went against the gym leader. So it was kind of like they were adapting what was in the game already into the manga, which was kind of a cool idea. Uh, you also meet Misty, which was kind of a similar way in terms of how she met Ash in the anime series, but not really that much. Um, there is something that she, I question, where she says the Gyarados in the, where she encounters Red, is hers but red is able to catch it it doesn't really make a lot of sense because he shouldn't be able to catch her pokemon if it's already caught and um, that was something i question now because i didn't think about it too much actually um yeah yeah that that was a slip in the manga so in this uh version of pokemon red is your typical happy-go-lucky character who's kind of clumsy uh, and absent-minded a bit and he's kind of rash in a way but um, you know he is a, a good trainer and he's a caring trainer to his Pokemon you also have Blue who acts a lot more colder uh, in terms of uh, his other counterparts in the anime which is Gary and blue in the games because in those they kind of seem more like they're teasing him and this he kind of plays off like the cool guy kind of vibe like 
he's oh, I don't want to waste my time with you red and that kind of stuff and he's like oh you're not a good enough trainer to go against me and he is kind of rude but like he's not really childish like smell you later like in the anime now with the Pokemon red catches in this he actually starts out with a Poliwhirl a then he gets a Bulbasaur from Professor Oak and then he gets a Pikachu later on and one thing that I found kind of uh, annoying in a way was that Red got a Poliwhirl he grew up in Pallet Town he had a Poliwhirl ever since he was young he was still able to battle because it's literally the opening um, few pages where he is battling against a Nidorino and he catches it which you never see again uh, and then he's told about Professor Oak who's the Pokemon expert in the town and Red wants to learn from him but it already seems like he already has a Pokemon of his own he should be able to go out in the world already and battle and catch Pokemon himself like he has a Pokeball for Poliwhirl um, but yeah the whole reason why he has Bulbasaur is because he uh, made a huge mistake and released all of Professor Oak's Pokemon he finds Bulbasaur in a gym all scared being attacked by a Machoke and uh, you know he just like opens the door uh, so the solar rays uh, hit Bulbasaur he's able to use solar beam and blast Machoke away and you know they kind of build a friendship that's basically the gist of it and it just felt to me that yeah that was a good kind of way for him to get Bulbasaur because he already had a Pokemon of his own so there's no point of battling but I just never really felt as if there was any point of Red either having the Poliwhirl or having uh, to go to see Professor Oak to get a Pokemon and to uh, you know learn more about po okay learn more about Pokemon is fine but you know learning to battle and stuff like that it already seems like Red knew that stuff uh, and then there's stuff like later on where like Red doesn't really seem to understand like the type advantages and disadvantages with Red and his Pikachu it seems a lot like they're trying to do the whole Ash and Pikachu thing in the anime where Pikachu is very uh, you know negative towards Ash like he really didn't want to get along with him at all and Ash just really wanted to that's kind of the relationship that Red and Pikachu has uh, and I mean they really do try to make it seem like the anime in that way like in the back here it's like Red does look quite similar to Ash and then you have the Pikachu and um, it does kind of feel like it's emphasizing that like yeah this is the anime and it's trying to get people into the manga that way I do think the art style in this is really nice and you know it's it's definitely nicer than that in the anime um, yeah I just think it's a lot nicer and um, the Pokemon look great in this uh, the characters the humans may not seem as great but it definitely adds its own style and yeah I think it works really well and it does make it stand out a lot more from other um, you know uh, mangas out there especially ones aimed towards kids and you know this has some great stuff and it's it is darker uh, than the anime itself uh, there's really cool drawings of zombie Pokemon in this uh, that uh, the trainer has to battle against like Red has to go into the Pokemon Tower he battles against like zombie Psyducks and uh, slow bros and all that that are controlled by ghastly you have uh, blue with a charmeleon slashing through an arbok like cutting it in half it's crazy stuff that really goes on in this also there's like a really creepy bit where um, in the game most of you will know there's a whole bit where Bill uh, fuses with a Clefairy I think it is in the game and in the anime they just had him like stuck in a suit in this they had him like transfer with a, a rata, Rattata and 
the end result is a little creepy in a way like how they sort of merge because you see it in like proper detail which is it is a little creepy when you see it overall i do recommend checking out this volume uh, the pokemon adventure series is actually quite good in general i i actually did read the second and third volumes um along with this uh, but they were my friends and it was so many years ago that i actually forget most of what happened but from what i remember it was really good and really entertaining and um, i do recommend checking this out if you're a pokemon fan and what's great about it is there's the box sets that you can get now and if you're just interested in the kanto region they have the box set for the kanto region if you're looking for the soul silver uh ones they have the box set for that uh ruby sapphire uh you know like so on and so forth they have the box set for those and it is really good uh read it's not like phenomenal or anything like it would be quite sim similar to like your basic shonen where like the protagonist basically wins all the time um but it's a fun story if you're interested in pokemon and it's a great sort of like nostalgic feel like if you sort of like went back and watched the old pokemon like i did you know if you grew up watching the original series you may notice that it's not as great and it doesn't hold up as well as you once thought it did this is actually slightly better than the original uh, anime series and i do recommend just watching it. it's even better than pokemon origins if i'm honest and yeah this is uh, a great read so i want to thank you guys for watching this video uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed uh, subscribe to my channel stay up to date with more videos that i have coming up um yeah i don't know how frequently i'll be putting up videos um, but hopefully i will put them up as much as possible i am currently looking for a job um because i'm like finished college well hopefully because i didn't get result of my repeat exam and there's, you know, there's a huge amount of other stuff going on and um, but yeah i'm just trying to get through like every day just like applying everywhere for jobs and stuff so youtube is not my highest priority right now but i will get videos up as much as i possibly can uh, but if you have any uh ideas that you want me uh, to review if you have any manga anime cartoons like uh, you know leave them in the comments below and i'll read them i can't guarantee that i'll do them because there's ideas that i want to do as well but uh you know i will definitely be happy to listen to uh any suggestions that any of you have and i want to thank you guys for watching goodbye